somewhere in Liberia, they do election in October. When they do that election, 20 people now contest. So now not Liberia now. Now George will be president, former world best footballer. He's the first footballer to ever be president on earth. He's the president of Liberia. So he did run for second term. You know, for Liberia, one term now six years. So he has been president for six years. He won't run for second term. Now they do the election in October. 20 people now contest presidential election. And the law in Liberia says for you to be president, you must get at least 50%, over 50% of the total vote. Now, because there be 20 way contest the election, all of them shared the vote. So nobody got up to 50%. So the election commission in Liberia declared a runoff between the two highest people who get votes. So that brings former Vice President Joseph Wakai and present President George Way. The two of them called runoff. As of yesterday, the election result would not count. Joseph Wakai is leading the current president, George Way, with about 28,000 votes. The remaining votes will remain for them to count is about 25, which means they have about 25,000, which means even if George Way gets everything, he has lost the election. As of that same yesterday night, George Way went on radio to congratulate Joseph Wakai, who was a former vice president, to congratulate Joseph Wakai for already winning the election. He considered defeat before the vote were counted totally. Here's the news. President George Way of Liberia has been defeated in the second round of voting in his country's presidential election held on Tuesday with 99.5% of votes from the country's 5,819 polling places counted. It is all but clear that former Vice President Joseph Buakai and candidates of the Unity Party has taken an unassailable lead. Mr. Buakai has so far garnered 814,212 votes of the available 1,625,684 votes compared to 785,778 votes scored by Mr. Way of the ruling coalition for democratic change. Turnout at the election stands at 65.77%. As of 4 p.m. on Friday, the former vice president led George Way with 28,000 434 votes. The total ballots are standing for counting is 25,694 votes, meaning that the former footballer cannot catch up with Mr. Boakai, even if he gets all the pending votes. George Way has considered defeat. Reports say the Liberian president has already accepted defeat. A few moments ago, I spoke with President-elect Joseph Boakai to congratulate him on his victory. George Way is quoted to have said on National Radio, I urge you, his supporters, to follow my example and accept the results of the elections. Tonight, the CDC has lost the election, but Liberia has won. This is a time for graciousness in defeat, a time to place our country above party and patriotism above personal interest. Let us heal the division caused by the campaign and come together as one nation and one united people. The United States government has commended George Way for accepting the outcome of the tightly contested election. We congratulate President-elect Wakai on his victory and President Way for his peaceful acceptance of the results, the State Department said in a statement. The United States congratulates the people of Liberia on holding a peaceful presidential runoff election. We note the bold participation of Liberians across the country and applaud the commitment and dedication of Liberian citizens in exercising their right to vote and in engaging in the electoral process peacefully. Liberians deserve and expect free and fair peaceful elections. We call on all citizens to follow President Way's example and accept the result. We congratulate Liberia's institutions on the successful electoral process, especially the dedicated work of the National Elections Commission and the thousands of Liberians who worked the polls. More than 2.4 million Liberians were registered to vote during the election. Now, the beautiful thing about Africa is that if you're an incumbent, especially a president, and you lose election, people are expecting you not to agree. People are expecting that the country will go into chaos. But when you agree, when you concede defeat, you have won again. Because the whole world will start using you as a role model. Like good luck, Abele Jonathan. 
everybody will start seeing you as a peacekeeper. They start crediting the success of that election to you. <coughs> because if you have refused to step down, there will be bloodshed. So the world will start seeing you as somebody that has saved lives, which is the way they are seeing George Way now. So it's a step in the right direction. That's why everybody is commending him. Now, in Nigeria, yeah, because I talk to you in Nigeria, I don't come on the WhatsApp group. <laughs> Even Tinubu has congratulated George Way, but they don't come on the WhatsApp group. Because there is no way anybody going to lose the election for this country. They'll go and raise it and lose. Only good luck, night one. You understand? And it is hard for a season president in Nigeria to lose the election. Make country. The only person who do and a good luck, give you good luck, sir. Some people see the cost attitude, they say, no guesses. Say why you agree. Some people will arrest everybody, but we can't keep thinking like that. If we want democracy to win in Africa, we have to support democracy one heartedly. So congratulations to Joseph Wakai for winning the election. Congratulations to George Way for conceding defeat.